This is the first of my blindfold tutorials. This will teach you how to blindfold a 2x2 Rubik's Cube. And really, this is not that difficult. This will take a lot of practice and a lot of kind of studying. But once you've got it, you've got it. And it's really nothing hard. Um, just kind of hard to get used to, if that makes any sense. So, um, let's get rid of all this stuff and jump right into the solution because i got a lot to explain in 10 minutes. There are only two properties to each piece. There's eight pieces and there's only two properties to each piece. There's permutation and there's orientation. We have to do the orientation first because if we permute the pieces first, um, basically what we have is we don't know what where the pieces are anymore. We've moved the pieces. So, we have to orient them before we actually move them to where they go. Otherwise, we can't orient them later because we don't know where they went. So orientation comes first. That's a basic rule of thumb. Okay, so all we got to do is we got to memorize orientation and we got to memorize permutation. We got to do the algorithms to fix them. Okay, so let's go over the algorithms we're going to be using for orientation. These are actually commutators, and commutators are very short algorithms that are very useful um, when used properly. So this is just a quick thing. To orient a piece clockwise, it's going to be d prime r prime dr, d prime r prime dr, and that'll turn it clockwise. Anyone who knows anything about impossible cases for a Rubik's Cube knows that you can't have one corner twisted, which is why we have all this stuff on the bottom to compensate for an impossible case on the top. So we can't twist one piece, which is why we have all this stuff wrecked on the bottom. So let's try one more. Um, let's try doing the other direction. The counterclockwise uh, twist is r prime uh, d prime r d r prime d prime r d so that actually fixed the bottom because I think everyone knows that you can have um, two oppositely oriented pieces so let's fix these now um, this needs to be twisted clockwise so we're going to do d prime r prime d r d prime r prime d r and this piece needs to be twisted counterclockwise. So it's going to be R prime D prime R D R prime D prime R D. Lastly, we just need a U to compensate for the U prime we did earlier in the algorithm. Okay, so um, also one more thing is that we can have not only two opposite that cancel each other out. What I mean by cancel each other out is that it fixes the bottom because it's now a possible case. We can also have three of the same kind. So um, let's just give an example of that. So we can have three of a kind, like these three have been twisted clockwise, and the bottom is fine, you can see, because this is a possible case. So we're just going to twist them back. And anytime we do that, we have to restore the top. So it's important that you understand that concept of cancellation. And in order to illustrate that concept, I actually have um, kind of an interesting little presentation. These are loonies. Um, this is the Canadian dollar. Okay, and then we got these quarters over here. So loonies, let's say that loonies represent corners that need to be turned clockwise. And then quarters represent corners that need to be turned counterclockwise. Let's go over a couple cases that are possible for a, a solve or whatever. Okay, so one case might be we have one clockwise corner and four counterclockwise corners. You should be able to see immediately how this will work out. But it's not just a matter of cancelling off three of these and cancelling off these two. There might be a better way to do that. Whatever counterclockwise corner is most convenient to cancel off with the clockwise corner, that's the one I'll usually do. I can't... It's not just a matter of cancelling off these two. I can cancel this one off with any one of these. So, on a normal solve, maybe this one would be closest to this um, clockwise corner, so it would be the easiest to cancel off. So that's what I'd do. And then, of course, the rest, the, the other three are good to go. Okay, here's another case that might show up. Um, there's a couple ways you can take care of this case. You can either um, cancel them off three at a time, or you can cancel them off in pairs. Maybe it will be easier to cancel them off in pairs. Certainly wouldn't be faster to do them two at a time, but maybe it'd be easier if they're set up that way. One last example is that, you know, maybe you have five clockwise corners and two counterclockwise corners. And maybe it's easiest to cancel them off, like, these two would be easiest to cancel off. And then, and then I don't know, the only, the, only, the only other thing you see is these three are easy to cancel off. And then you have, you're left with maybe a difficult case where you have to cancel these two off. But you can cancel them off in any order that you like. 
um, just as long as you obey the, the rules of two opposites or three of a kind. So here's a case that you might actually get on a 3x3. Three three. You're not always going to have a case where it's so perfect as they're all in the same layer. However, they all have to be in the same layer for you to actually, you know, do the algorithms and fix it. Um, we know that three of a kind cancel off, and we have three corners that need to be twisted counterclockwise here. We have these two, and this one down here. So what we actually have to do is something called a setup move. And what that is, is basically we're just going to do a quick move, like an L2, that'll bring this piece in uh, with the other pieces in the same layer. Then we can just pretend nothing really happened and, and do um, them all normally, and then we'll do the L2 at the end to fix it. Make sense? Okay. So let's do it. L2, and then to fix these ones, uh, the only need to turn counterclockwise, so it's going to be R prime D prime R D, R prime D prime R D, twist the next piece in, twist the next piece in, um, do a U2, just because that's what you do, and then do an L2, just bring it back. So that's just how you deal with um, cases like that. Anytime you have it where the pieces aren't all in the same layer, you're just going to have to do a setup move to bring them to the same layer. Make sure though that you bring, um, you you know, undo the setup move at the end, otherwise you're going to be left with something that doesn't make sense. So that's just really important. Um, I'll give another example of orientation then we'll jump right into permutation. Okay, suppose we have suppose we have this case where um, kind of a lot of stuff going on. These two pieces need to be twisted clockwise. Uh, this piece needs to be twisted clockwise as well, I think. Yeah, and so does this one. And this piece needs to be turned counterclockwise. So again, there's a few ways we can do this. Um, I'm thinking that it'd be easiest to cancel off these two pieces with one another, and then these two pieces with this one. So what I'm going to do is a B2 to bring um, three clockwise corners into the same layer and then just start canceling these off and then do a B2 to bring that back and that fixes all three of these and then I could either just do a, like, a, like, a, like a Z2 to bring it into the top or what I normally just do is an F2, because I don't like really doing cube rotations during a blind solve. So I'll just do an F2 instead. And this is going to be counterclockwise, this is going to be clockwise. So, um, counterclockwise is like this, and then clockwise is like this. And then of course bring that back, and then we have to do that F2 again to bring it back down. So those are a couple cases that you'll run into for orientation. And, um, really nothing too complicated. Um, just a little bit a little bit of stuff to get used to okay unfortunately uh, i couldn't fit the entire explanation into one video so i had to break it into two parts before you run over there though um make sure that you understand all of the concepts explained here um at least partially i mean you gotta understand setup moves there's more setup moves in the next video so things like that you might want to watch the video again um and you're going to want to comment and rate as well thanks a lot guys <laughs>